Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. Today I want to make a quick video about how to connect your real Android device to PHP MyFGL using web server on your PC. As you can see, I could connect from my phone to the server on my PC. The reason that I'm making this video because I got a lot of requests about that and a lot of people have this problem so I decided to make this video, okay? Let's see how it works. To make this video uh, shorter, I decided to use one of my old tutorial. Uh, this is about how to connect from your Android to PHP and MySQL that you can uh, do the registration, login. So before I begin, so let me show you what I did. I installed WAM, I have PHP in my admin, and as you can see, I have one record. And I change the local host port to 8089. Okay, and here is my PHP files. And no worry, I will put the link to the tutorial down in the description so you can find out. Uh, maybe you should pause the video and start to create, uh, you know, some app like that. And let me show you a little bit about my Java code. I use my own library called Post uh, Respond Acting Task, and also I, I show that in my tutorial. But the most important point is the number 10.0.3.2. What is it? You know, here is a local host, and I explain it in the tutorial. Uh, the local host cannot uh, use in the Android because Android emulator has the local host. So you have to change to 10.0.3.2 However, this number can only use for the emulator itself If you want to test from your real device, you know, you cannot use that So this is the point that I want to teach you in this lesson So I want to show you how to change the number from the 10.0.3.2 to your real server device and how to configure that to enable the WAM server to allow you to connect to your uh, you know your PC your WAM server on your PC okay so first let's create an APK go to build and build APK and take some time just a little bit and now you can see uh, the APK the name is just appdebug.apk you should uh, connect to your real device now by using the USB cable but um, to make it like a real app I uh, put it into my Google Drive I don't want to connect from my phone to um, computer by USB I just drop to the Google Drive and start download from the Google Drive so let's see the real device now now my APK is on my Google Drive on my uh, smartphone, on my Android phone. And before we begin to do something, let me show uh, something that is very important. To test from your server here, in your local server, you have to connect to the same network, okay? Now I use my network, Sarkozal CPE, just my network name, the same to my computer. So. Now I can, um, you know, I can talk from my phone to my computer. In case for the real device, you can change the URL to your, you know, your domain name. For example, like example.com. Then you can just change to example.com. So just install the app, just like usual. But um, you know, Android needs some permission. Click setting for this, and then uh, click unknown source. And OK and just tick that allow this installation only click install okay now that is correct app okay so that's done click open okay now you can see the app on your cell phone remember that I did not change the number from 10.0.3 to any IP address because I just want to show you that if you don't change that it doesn't work I think that you might encounter that problem in your uh, Android phone, right? That's why you come to this uh, video how to connect from your real uh, device to the PC, okay? So let me show you how to fix that. So let's go back to our Android application. So 
So first let's find out what is IP address. Just go to CMD and type IP config. So here we go. That is the IP address for your PC. So you want to connect from your phone to your PC. Remember that? So you have to allow this number. So you have to change from the 10.0.3.2 to this number to 192.168.8.1004. Okay, that is the number. So let's change to that. But you keep the rest, the port, the anything, you know. And let's run it again just to make sure it's built. Okay, it works. So uh, let's go to build and build ABK again. Okay. Okay. So here is the ABK, and we should change the number to uh, app dot debug two. Just uh, you know, and when we upload to the Google Drive, you can see a difference. Okay. Okay. That's good. That is the ABK with the uh, the, uh, the IP, the real IP address. Okay. But still, you cannot uh, connect that. You have to fix something. Let's go to uh, WAM, the HTTP.config. Okay. And let's scroll down to find something uh, like here. So just go down and you will see um, like document root. Okay. Here, the document root. And down below, before the close tag uh, directory, you see require local. That is the place that you want to change. There are different uh, uh, syntax for the older version. You would say allow or uh, for all for the older um, Apache version. But for this version, the old or the newer version, you need to uh, change to this uh, syntax. Require uh, all granted. This is the one. Okay and hit save and then you need to restart your web server make sure that the color turn green okay okay that's good and you can verify from your emulator as well if you can uh, hit with the uh, ip address okay and another thing is the directory you have to change uh, from require all denied to uh, require all granted as well and restart it again Okay, that is the two points that you want to change, okay? So that's it, that the two points that you want to fix. So now you should be able to connect from your phone, from a real device, you know, to your real server on your PC. So let me show you uh, if it works. Oh, password test, login, yes. Okay, so that's it for this video. This is how you can connect from your a phone from your real Android device to your web server on your PC. So that's it for this video. I hope this video is useful to fix your problem. If it does help, please hit the like button. If it does not, please let me know by commenting in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get a useful tutorial for free in the future. Bye for now and I will see you in the next video.